tak si tvorej vypočíš. Hej, 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 to ten jeci. Looks great, drives great. It's just the best car to have. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mini, for me, it's my life. <laughs> it's the style of life, and uh, it was a dream of uh, since my childhood. party here has been the best ever. I've been to a few in my time, but this has been fantastic. So many people, so many different nationalities. It's been just great. Absolutely great. Best fun ever. Thank you very
Race minutes for years, and it's it's just it's just a passion that you get, and it's just fantastic to race them. Well, it's okay, you know, it's a really old car, and it's still progressing, which is which is really good. And and the, the following for them is still really strong as well. So to be a part of that is fantastic. The heritage, um, the fun. Uh, everybody can own a mini, um, from 100 pounds to 10,000 pounds, and it's cheap. It's to me the best racing that you can get. You watch tomorrow.
history around us here. I mean, this is 50 years of history. This is 50 years of growing a brand. And of course, everyone wants to customize their cars. And to be here in amongst maybe 20,000 people today is just really special. And that, I think, is at the heart of this great brand. I think what surprised people, it was not only a car for you know, the everyday and the general public, but celebrities started to buy it. And it became more of a sort of fashion icon. And of course, shortly afterwards, it became a rally car and John Cooper and some of the greatest rally drivers of all time actually took it to success in things like the Monte Carlo and that really started to build the substance and build the success that ultimately meant that several million of these cars were sold. So taking a very cute, very characterful, big heart car and turning it into a brand was our challenge and with the launch of the new car a lot more substance but unmistakably and I think this is the key you could say this is a Mini. So for the way it looks, you don't need to see a badge. This is a Mini. Underneath it, that go-kart feeling that made it so exciting over all those years, again, absolutely in the new car as well, but a lot more premium. And so all of that customization ability was actually into the new car. And hence, since then, we've done, what, 1.4 million of them around the world, and it's selling in every country. Gut, der Mini hat den glücklichen Umstand, dass er 40 Jahre die Formsprache aus den 50er Jahren äh, praktisch bewahrt hat. Und mit diesem Formenschatz und diesen Proportionen haben wir den neuen Mini gestaltet, jetzt schon in der zweiten Generation. Komplett Caprio, den Hatch und äh, den Clubman. Das ist, glaube ich, die Antwort, dass äh, diese Kontinuität, die Konstanz, die Authentizität des Originalen im Konzept, also Antrieb, Proportion und der Idee, den größten Platz auf dem kleinsten Raum zu gestalten, übertragen worden ist. Und das macht die Glaubwürdigkeit und die Gültigkeit auch für die klassischen Mini-Besitzer aus, die ja durchaus kritisch am Anfang äh, auf unser Produkt geguckt haben. I think we just looked in, in the history and I think we used the same clues we had, or Mini had in 1959, uh, engineer-driven design. All the designs are related to function and the icons, the, the classical Mini had, the round headlamps, the additional roof, the muscular shapes, the central instrumentation, the hexagonal grill. We transferred in the form, in a new form language, in a modern form language, transferred technology, old technology into new. And the most important thing is from the original to the original, the authenticity of the biggest possible space for the passenger and the smallest footprint. And this sort of authenticity people like. It was then in the 60s, to many people, a big surprise. And they thought it cannot be a standard car. It must have bigger engine, it must have something special. But it, it, it was a, a production car tuned, of course. But the point was what people call today as go-kart-like handling. It, it was the fact that the wheels were in the corners, which means that the car has no delay to steering. It had an immediate response and this was a secret of the Mini and it's still today. Most people smile when they see a Mini. It's a, it's a car which brings more quality into your life and I think it's all the small factors. When you touch it, there are no two sharp edges, the colors are nice, the seats, the feeling when you sit in is nice. It's, it's just the general feeling. Ich war der erste Mann, der auf einem Mini Cooper in Monte Carlo äh, teilgenommen hat. Rally Monte Carlo, 61. Und damals könnte kein Mensch verstehen, dass sich so ein kleines Auto fuhr. Aber die Resultate von Mini haben dann alle auch überrascht. Weil durch diese kompakte Abmessungen, das Auto war kurz, schmal, niedrig, leicht. Und die Räder in den Decken hat es gemacht, dass das Auto hat besser und schneller reagiert als irgendein anderes Fahrzeug damals. Das ist ein, ein Wohlgefühl, wenn man immer noch dieselbe Lady liebt, das, das Mini. Also der, der Mini ist so ein, ein Auto, dass man hat keine Hassgefühle. Das Auto ist immer schön und dadurch fühlt man sich selber auch wohl, wenn man etwas mit Mini macht.
Uh, well, I think the key thing about uh, the Mini is that is the beginning. And, and uh, when it first started in the, the 59 and through the 60s, it was immediately very accepted by young people. It was a, a symbol of youth. And because of that being a symbol of youth, uh, it uh, immediately got a, a lot of following with creative people, fashion designers, artists, and uh, it was always a very cool uh, car right from the beginning. And what's amazing is that it's continued to be a very cool car. And, and so the, the artists, uh, designers, are, if ever they're asked about the Mini, they're always very happy to make a collaboration. I think, uh, I think the success of Mini is because uh, of the continuity. Because they started with a very unique small car at a time when all the cars were very heavy and very big. And this one was very lively and very uh, full of energy. And uh, as, the, as it went through the ages, they really stuck by it. They didn't try to make it change too much. And then when they designed the new Mini, they really respected the old Mini, but with all the new, uh, new facilities and the new things that you need in the modern world. So the main thing is that they didn't change and they, they respected their, their beginnings. Yeah. Well, I'd like to say that uh, if my Mini was full of 50 birthday candles, uh, in all lots of different colours. I think it would look pretty nice. So, uh, happy 50th birthday, Mini. Uh, I just like the shape, you know, it's more of an aesthetic thing for me, really. I like the shape and, uh, and I suppose it's kind of... Well, yeah, I suppose it just symbolises the 60s as well, you know, it was kind of, that was the car of the 60s, wasn't it? Which is kind of like my era, really, you know, it's one of my most influential era for me anyway. Yeah. You know, good things still sell, don't they? People still like good things, don't they? Do you know what I mean? It's sort of beyond style or fashion and all that sort of thing, isn't it? You know, it's kind of, things are classic, things are classic because that's, that's what they are, do you know what I mean? That's how I look at it, whether it's music, cars or whatever we're talking about, clothes, whatever, you know.